the big goal of empathy mapping is to learn how your user feels when they're using your website. So first things first, you'll need to reach out to some users. Customers, stakeholders, volunteers, whatever you call them. Okay, here's a way to start. Sketch out an email that looks a bit like this. Hey, person, we want to improve our website and I'd really value your insights. I'd love to go through a process with you, either at your offices or ours. We'll work on your laptop and it will take no more than an hour or so of your time. Here's a few times that work for me, but what's easiest for you? Once you've mocked up the email, write down a dozen or so different people you can approach. If you're looking to increase your customer base, work with a customer who loves what you do. But remember, they might want to hold back on negative feedback because they don't want to hurt your feelings. If you're looking for honest feedback, it's best to work with a customer who's impartial. Or better yet, someone who's complained in the past. It can be great for a customer like this to hear, we're listening, please give us your feedback, we'd love you to help us fix things. Our goal is to learn and you can learn a lot from your critics. It can be great to offer an incentive for their help, perhaps something like offering a copy of your research findings. You're not trying to bribe people, you just want to show your appreciation for their help. Some people will just be flattered that you'd like their help. This activity works best with different people, so you get a range of perspectives. Multiple opinions helps you see what patterns emerge across different experiences. Not all of your users will want to be involved, but if lots do and you have too many keen users on your hands, that's okay. You can just tell them that you're at capacity for the moment.